realistic level, and we are making an appreciable difference. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mr Chair. Um, I call Mac Ducey. Uh, thank you very much, Mr Chair. Uh, just following on from the Honourable Maggie Barry, thank you very much for that schooling uh, in conservation. And I feel like uh, today and tonight, that's exactly what we have had from all our ministers who have spoken, uh, a schooling in their specialist area. Uh, and the associate ministers as well, uh, offering their expertise, uh, their knowledge and their experience. And that very much uh, underpins uh, this estimates debate, uh, the experience, uh, the knowledge and expertise uh, of the people at the top, uh, making the decisions on where we invest our money. And that's exactly what we're doing uh, with vote conservation uh, and vote environment, about where we can invest our money uh, get good return and ultimately uh, protect, sustain and improve uh, our conservation practices uh, and our environment. Uh, it's fair to say when talking about environment and conservation, uh, there's an old saying my mum used to say is that money doesn't grow on trees and I think actually as I get older I realise how right she was. So we should reflect actually the reason we do have money uh, to spend on vote conservation uh, and environment is actually because of a strong management of our economy, uh, a growing country, uh, a growing economy, uh, a government that's uh, shaping globalisation for the benefit of local people uh, in New Zealand. And that's why we can spend this hard-earned taxpayer money on protecting our environment. Uh, because when we think about it, it's actually our environment, uh, it's our conservation that is intrinsic to being uh, a New Zealander. Uh, I reflect, Mr Speaker, I was once backpacking um, through the Netherlands when I, I, I met some people in the backpackers and like you normally do is you just talk about where you're from and, and someone said, where are you from? And I said, oh, I'm a Kiwi. And they said, oh, why do you want to be named after a fruit? Uh, and that reminded me that uh, not everyone thinks of uh, a Kiwi as being uh, a bird, but, but ultimately the Kiwi is the iconic uh, bird of New Zealand. Uh, and it's fantastic to see uh, under this budget uh, an extra $11.2 million uh, into protecting the wild Kiwi population. Uh, what we know is we've got a 2% annual decline uh, and we're looking to turn that around uh, to a 2% increase. So we're aiming for 100,000 wild Kiwi in 2030, up from 69,000 currently. And I know uh, I'm quite fortunate in Waimakariri that we actually have a conservation park called Willowbank that's doing some fantastic work uh, with the Kiwi. Uh, and I do enjoy taking my young kids down to see uh, the Kiwi enclosure. So it's fantastic that we're looking to support the Kiwi, the iconic bird, uh, as well as the Kiwi fruit as well, I suppose, uh, of, of New Zealand, Mr Speaker. I'd also uh, wanted to touch on what I see is a very um, pragmatic government and uh, one that's always responsive and looking uh, how we can respond to the needs of our community. Uh, from this budget, uh, Mr Chair, I note that we're spending $4.75 million of operating funding uh, as a result of the Christchurch Port Hills fires. Now, many will remember uh, the fires several months ago uh, devastated uh, the region of the Port Hills. So it's fantastic that the government uh, is supporting the return of the biodiversity uh, in the Port Hills, uh, the uh, reforestation. The Port Hills is an important area uh, for not only people in Christchurch but for the whole of Canterbury as well and it's fantastic that that uh, funding will go into support uh, the biodiversity of the Port Hills uh, and support the reforestation there as well. Minister, Baggy, uh, <laughs> Minister <laughs> Maggie Barry, sorry Minister, I was, I was doing, doing so well until then. I'll You're take, the, well. take the shoe out of, my, out of my mouth. So passionately talked about predator free, uh, 2050. And the enthusiasm that that has created with the local community. And I do note uh, that there is funding, uh, 300,000 available for local community groups. I know one group in my electorate, the Kaiapoi uh, Men's Shed, uh, are passionate about how they can get involved in that funding. Uh, they want to build their own predator cages. 
uh, and get out there and make a real difference uh, for the environment and the conservation in the local area. Thank you, Mr Chair. Yeah, well said. Well said. Members, the question is that vote conservation, vote environment and vote parliamentary commissioner for the environment stand part of the schedules. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Members, we now move to the votes in the external sector. And the question is that vote customs, vote defence, vote defence force, vote foreign affairs and trade,